And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Zoe. That's right, we're playing the brand new champions from the new uh, expansion, Cosmic Creation, that just came out here with Legends of Runeterra. We played four decks today. We wanted to play um, all the champions twice in two different decks. Um, and so we're going to be playing another Zoe deck. Again, we're going to be playing Zoe with gems. We're going to be playing Zoe with Mentor the Stones, Mountain Goat, playing it with gems, but this time with our other new champion, Victor. Because Victor wants us to play created cards to be able to level up Victor, and the gems, of course, can be the created cards um, for leveling up Victor. Now, whenever you do have a level up Victor, then your all of your created cards cost one less, so that could mean your gems cost zero mana. So we're going to try out a spicy one with like a Shards of the Mountain that may just fill our hand with gems, but then if we have a Victor in play, they all cost zero mana, so that could be awesome. So we can buff up some things. We have a couple of ways to have elusives. We have um, the Nandroid that's elusive, Zoe that's elusive, and of course um, Victor gets the uh, hex core upgrades that give Victor random keywords. Those elusives are going to be good with our give it all. So right, so we have like the gems to buff, we have elusives, we're going to try a couple give it alls. Um, plus these things can be really big with um, the augment, uh, they can get a whole lot of power with these different augment cards. So I think that a couple give it alls at the top end could work out really well. So let's give it a try. Let's let's kind of have some fun here with Victor Zoe. And we'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay, we're playing against the Zoe deck, Zoe Diana. That's what we played earlier, Zoe Diana. I wonder if it's the same list that we had. That would be cool if it is. All right, we got a couple of augment cards. Bastion, probably not that necessary. We're going to go ahead and mulligan the Bastion. Like They're going to have like maybe, you know, maybe Hush. Probably not a whole lot of removal. What do I do? What don't I do? Alright, attack. So we'll just be holding our spell mana with the Pill Cascade up for the next turn. Mentor the Stone's a really good draw um, in between here. Okay, we got deck support from Battle Right. We'll do the uh, deck support here in a little bit. Enter, Traveler, and stop staring. So if they're making that block, that means that they have, you know, either Hush or Pale Cascade. Which means that mine stops theirs, but then they do kill my Mentor the Stones. So, like, I, I could kill their Lifesteal thing if I wanted, but I think killing Starless here is more important. All right, we get, get some victors in play. We found another Starless here. Yeah, I think this may just be the list that we were playing. That's, that's really cool. That already playing against uh, the own list. That's that's really rare. All right, so Victor is Death Ray. We could use that to kill a Sparklefly. Let's see, do I want you in play also? Augment, and then I play three other spells. Once I snap papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. Hmm. Blessed by snow and stars. Yep. Okay, they, I did not have Crescent Guardian, or at least I I did take out Crescent Guardian. All 
gonna have tons and tons of spells. All the time. We're only taking four damage, right? Like, so we're not we're not taking the most. Once I step papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. All right, it's fine with me. This would be a good winter. Just want to play our um, created cards. Level up this victor. Challenger. That could be interesting. All right, definitely get another gearhead in with the augment first. So we're only at four out of eight as far as leveling up Victor, but it seems like we've cast a million of these spells, but we're only at four out of eight. Now five. What it just gave? Oh, elusive? Cool. We got our elusive blocker. No, haven't gotten any cards shiny yet. No, not yet. This does three damage to anything. Don't be thinking about playing Metro of the Stones. Let's do it. I want to make it so like the, they can't just kill the ballistic bot. I want it, that's why I wanted to mentor the stones in here. I want that so they can't just block the ballistic bot. So we have like all three of these augmented things that they don't have a free block to, to trade with any of them. You know, they can use pill cascades, they can use like spells and, and trade with them. They don't have any free trades. Okay, we're going to create four more gems. So I, I'll have seven cards in hand, so I barely have enough room for my uh, create <laughs> create two cards at the end of the turn. Alright, there's the death ray. It is fast. Okay, that's good. I'm glad death ray is fast. Find your path in the dark. Okay, so I'm going to Aftershock that, I think. Let's see. First, I'm going to Gem and heal that. Also level that up. Okay, these cards all cost one less mana. That's pretty awesome. I want to cast the, the Aftershock. We only have one card in hand. Let's just cast it on this Diana with the Quick Attack Challenger. You must do Perfect. They yeah, us this game's over. Cool. Let's give Victor another keyword. What do we get? Overwhelm? That's going to be a tough one. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> this one drop is incredible. There we go. That'll be game. One and O. Oh. Man, Victor is crazy. Quests or assignments. I guess they're called assignments. And all that kind of stuff. So that looks really cool. All right, but we're playing, uh, playing some ramp for all your Targon. Are they gonna be ramping? I don't have the attack token on turn three, which is what I want. 
I'm still gonna keep a mentor, you know what? Let's keep one. Sunburst could be cool. It's good against Trundle and Trindamir. What can I say? I'm an adaptable guy. So this may not be a game. We'll see if my opponent's really doing anything or not. There we go. I think they're back. I think they're playing. Yeah. You cost four mana, Bastion. Our one Bastion was three mana. Good times. All right, well, we, we have only drawn... <laughs> we kept those three cards. All five cards we've drawn, or I guess all four cards have been spells. There we go. I was going to say, we need, we need some kind of unit to pair with the Mentor of the Stones, and I have to say, Victor is a good one. Yeah, I kind of... I would. Yeah, I think that Bastion being... Yeah, okay, so Bastion originally was three mana. It just gave Spell Shield for a turn. Right? It just gave Spell Shield for a turn, I think. And then they, they made it, you know, permanent Spell Shield and plus one, plus one, and that was too good, so they made it four mana with that. I kind of wish it was just permanent Spell Shield, but three mana and no plus one, plus one. I think that's that would be the best. All right, we got elusive. I'm oh, just gonna use that mana right now. This doesn't quite kill them, but I do have two mystic shots. I guess I could have gone Bastion first. Maybe I should have gone Bastion first. Come on, draw a unit. Oh wait, we're not drawing a unit. We'd play Pillow Cascade to draw a unit. Lifesteal. Um... Should I draw? A pill, should I just cast this pill cascade to draw a unit? Metal is perfection. Yeah, maybe I should have just done the proactive Bastion. So we can see the really in soul in hand. So we can see that it costs ten mana still. So that's not the card that they made zero mana with the Targon Speak. Looks like Trindamir was. Impossible. Anything is possible. Think about going Pell Cascade, Pell Cascade. To save? No, let's just get gems. We're just going to be making big victor. We need to play three more created cards. Metal is perfection. Behold me, ow! Hairless apes! All evolution will converge to machines. Genius in action. So they're probably holding up a harsh winds again. Scout? Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's probably still better to. 
Yeah, because it's scout, it, it attacks twice. So I have six mana. It's probably better to, in case it's just one, in case it's just a flash freeze or a, you know, you know it's not harsh winds. Or like a hush. Okay, that'll do. I was gonna proactive bastion this time, so I was gonna I was gonna proactive bastion, keep the four mana available with my pale cascades also, and then just attack with with just Victor. But that was pretty crazy, right? Like Victor was like almost twenty power and had elusive and scout and a life steal, <laughs> you know, like it's pretty crazy. Prediction. Alright, playing against some more aggro decks. We're playing against some Victor, but Victor with Draven. Draven creates the spinning axes, of course, so that's that's a way to get a creative card for Victor. Our hand looks pretty good. Victor's champion spell is just fine also, like just in case that uh, you know, like if we do keep Victor out, we can use Victor Victor's champion spell. I kind of forgot that we were a Zoe deck, to be honest. We hadn't seen Zoe in so long. I think they have Jury Rig in hand. That's my prediction. They have Jury Rig. Surprised they're not doing anything this turn. That's surprising. So good attack, then they could have let's see, if I play the ignition first, they could play like a Draven to be able to block, but of course I can make my ballistic bot. I'm gonna just attack and get the two damage in. And I'm gonna play a new ballistic bot and then ignition. Which maybe I should be doing that first, you know, like that makes them Two threes. Is Ballistic bot sounds really weird <laughs> for like this little one three. I don't know. It sounds it's so mean sounding. Ballistic Bot sounds so mean. Draven down. Yeah, gotta respect Draven's Whirling Death for sure, so just, just decided to take out Draven. Basically, every turn after this turn, we're going to start having a whole lot of mana to cast all of these created cards. And it's going to be incredible. <laughs> yeah, Zoe does have good voice lines. Oh no! The Sunforks map. I didn't attack with the Zoe yet. I should just attack with the Zoe right away. I was not, I was not expecting Sump Snipe Scavenger. Yeah, not, not expecting that. This way. All right, so it looks like we're gonna probably have to spend our six mana next turn on the Sunburst for the Victor. <laughs> Zoe Lulu will be awesome ear bleed. <laughs> Please not spell shield. You're like overwhelm. Overwhelm. Nailed it. No, you can't get it. In, you, you, it's uh, grants a random keyword um, that's that doesn't have already. So you can't have like overwhelm and then get overwhelm again because you can't have double overwhelm. It's not possible. 
Okay, well now, as I was saying, that we should be able to start play playing all these created cards every turn. <laughs> we had to take a little detour to get rid of their victor. I haven't seen Barrier yet. I don't think Barrier, because you can't, because Barrier isn't something you grant the, the last turn after turn, so I don't believe so. I think we have, yeah, we had a backup Zoe. Why are you, why are you not attacking with the Daring Poro? Let's start with this. We don't have any other augment cards, so let's just, let's start with granting Victor another keyword. I, I guess the first keyword. Fearsome. Kind of a useless keyword. Meow, 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 meow. Equinox? No Equinox. Why did I play like Zoe first before all this other stuff? Probably should have. So, yeah, probably should have just played Zoe first before all these other creative cards. Kind of forgot about working towards Zoe's level up with the 10 different cards. I've been just focused on Victor and the Augment. <laughs> it's just back and forth. These voice lights are crazy. Alright, we got a Furious Victor. That's 7 out of 8. And that's going to allow the Trickster to block the sub -percible. All right, that'll level up, Victor. Yeah, just ju just bots chatting with each other. They're like, I'm the really cool one. No, I'm really cool. So right now our only created card is the Ignition, but of course every single turn we'll get two Ignitions and the Hex Core upgrades. Now those will cost zero mana. We can play a couple of Death Rays and take down like the 1-1 one -one Elusives. They should be attacking with like the four threes, probably, right? I mean, I guess I can block one with Victor, but I kind of need to trade the four threes with nine threes, but I guess maybe they've just given up. Yeah, they, they, they're they not happy about this. We just sit back with these ignitions. Take two every turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, Dr. T that's kind of my thoughts too. Dr. Tobias Funke said, I'm not sure how strong Victor is going to be when the meta settles. You know, he still seems pretty good right now, but he's so fun, I'm gonna try to make him work. He's really fun. And yeah, who knows how good it'll be whenever the meta settles, but um, yeah, that's, that's not something to worry about right now. Right now, that's about I'm um, having fun, and yep, they... Do-do-do-do-do, oh yeah. Next, will I win against Vladimir Braum? We're playing against some Crimson. I'm guessing that they're going to be playing the new uh, landmark, the new Crimson landmark. That's probably what we got going on here. I like this Ballistic Bot, Mentor the Stones, Victor, Start. 
And then shards of the mountain can be kind of crazy if we can get Victor leveled up. So our hand, so basically what I'm saying is, is our hand is very slow, but it looks really good. Let's go with the goat over the bot. This land is ours. Yeah, because the goat trades with that, the bot does not. Oh, elixir of iron is rough. GGs. Got, got. The winter's flaw. Got, got. Let's see. Once I said papers, now faces. Yep. So whenever an ally survives damage, granted plus one, plus zero, and tough. I rise a mew. A mew. All right, Mystic Shot's pretty cool. Is it the boosters? Who knows? So I can Mystic Shot and kill the Ruthless Raider. The gun show. I disappear. Should probably do that now. Yeah, I should probably do that now. This Brom's gonna be really nice, right? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna really be able to kill the Brom. And so that's gonna be pretty nice. I'm dressed for the occasion. In red. In red. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Cool little combo they got going on. We are a ways away from leveling up Victor, but but if we can keep Victor alive and level up Victor, then we have the shards of the mountain. Give it all. This stuff's gonna be crazy. So if we can. Let's go with the keyword. Overwhelm. In the warm mother's name. If it's God seek. Oh. I just realized, I forgot I had this other bot. Could have played this other bot first. Once I start papers, Whoops. Now faces, our goals are I missed a, a plus one on with that bot. But it's difficult for them to attack because we're gonna have such large, so, you know, such large power with everything. But yeah, I missed, I missed one with that bot. This ballistic bot. <laughs> You're not a fan of the Targon peak, Targon's peak decks. Oh, that's kind of rough. Let's try Mystic shotting that thing. Is that gonna kill me? Plus two, plus two, overwhelmed everything. I'm really glad they didn't have anything to save that. So overwhelm damage, this is 12, 13, 14. Gosh, that's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's gonna kill me, because that's, let's see, so what I say, so that's 12, 16, 18, 18. So that's 18 overwhelm. And then it's gonna do three damage to me, so put me to eight, and then add another three. So it's 21 overwhelm. 21 overwhelm and I'm at eight. Yeah, I'm dead. Lifesteal? Lifesteal? Lifesteal. Oh, is that regen? Oh, that was regen. Not lifesteal. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. I saw the, like, you know, like the red symbol there. I got excited. So close. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I do. Game's over. Okay, well, their deck looks pretty impressive as well. 
They did kind of have a perfect curve out though, right? Like, can their deck be any better than turn two Ruthless Raider with Elixir of Iron to protect it, kill my two drop, keep it alive. And then turn three, they got their landmark, and then they got the Braum, and then they got Vladimir. Like, that's just kind of perfect, right? The first five turns. But then even then, I think I think we we're just fine. But then pack mentality, of course, just kills us. So it takes a perfect hand to beat us. But that was a game that I didn't expect to lose at all until that pack mentality. GG's. Oh. Yeah, y'all y'all were really predicting win also. I think I was losing that. Misfortune Garen. We have a little bit of removal in our deck. We have a couple hush, some Yeah, we got some removal. We got a lot of removal actually. Okay. Mulligan you. Mulligan you. I don't know. I kind of don't want to mulligan you. We're going to keep you suit up. I know suit up costs four mana, but four mana on like this armored gearhead it seems pretty sweet. Whenever they they block my gearhead and then I suit it up and make it a 4-4 quick attack. That does sound pretty cool. Alright, Mountain Guts the Goat. Alright, no star shaping or whatever the, the thing that grants it, you know, the plus two plus two grant elusive. They don't have that. So that's probably good news. The new champions are looking really good, Frankie. Looking for trouble. Ooh, we see our first bedazzled misfortune. I was wondering if, if you'd be able to see your opponent's cards if they were, um, I don't know, what what's that called again? If they were something, whatever that's called. No attacks. I have no mana. And still no attacks. Broke my hand. So I got a new one. Man, they're okay. Yeah, th this can't can't be disabled. I mean, I don't I don't think this will I don't think this will affect computer speed. It just changes the border, right? Like it's not it's not like shiny and and you know any kind of animations or anything. I guess I should have, so they did have that card. I guess I should have suited up the Zoe first and then done the gem. So I should have done. I'm not sure, I'm not sure which one of these to suit up, but we have another suit up anyway. But we should definitely cast suit up, especially with having the other one. And yeah, well, it costs two mana. Okay, that's broken. Okay, that's that's broken. Oh man. Oh man, that is Cuz then then whenever Grizzled Ranger dies, it does it summons the Badger Bear, so then the Badger Bear gets plus 1 plus 1 in Challenger. That's ridiculous. Okay, well I, I guess I need to, you know, that's that's the thing. First day it's about learning. I need to keep mana open for Sunburst. Okay, well, GG's, I guess. Hell of a day. That is broken. Here we go. Yeah, that's good game. Tell my tale. That is that is unbelievable. Seriously, Hush? Can I do you last turn?
No, 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 no. All right, my cursor kind of got stuck there. I obviously don't want this serpent. I guess it's not obvious that I don't want the serpent, but I didn't want the serpent. I wanted I wanted the thing that just drew a card. I wanted the 2-2. Two -two. I wanted the thing that drew a card. This landmark looks incredible. Tomorrow's gonna be our landmark day. Whenever we uh, play the landmarks, like those y'all watch on YouTube, is gonna be like the next landmarks and stuff. Are you kidding me? Wow. Plaza into Grizzled Ranger. Unreal. That's something that... Um, that's something we're going to have to just deal with uh, for a long time. That Plaza into Grizzled Ranger. That That's unreal. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's a thing. Okay, well that's yeah, you know, like good good learning experience. You know, like that's that's what uh that's what this is all about. So I needed to um basically, you know, just a few different things I needed to change with that. I needed to play the suit up on my Zoe first and then gem the Zoe. Right? And then so like the Zoe would have been a five four, and so they didn't get like the free block with their um with their block elusive card. I didn't expect them to have that block elusive card considering they could have used it the previous turn with the you know, with the Fleet Feather Tracker and killed my Zoe. And they didn't, they didn't use that. So I just wasn't expecting that card. But then, of course, I need to save a little bit of mana once they had that, once they had, um, once they had their landmark. And I need to save a little mana, then sunburst. But aftershock looks really important, right? Like I think, I think I used aftershock earlier. No, I guess that was that was maybe a different game. It's like, yeah, I think that I guess that was a different game. Maybe I used to kill misfortune. Maybe that was a different game. Oh, no, no, yeah, it was that game. Yeah, I used it to kill Misfortune. Maybe I needed to just blow up the, the landmark right there, even though they were going to destroy all my stuff. Um, but yeah, this this card looks really good, though. This looks like this should just be a three of in all these decks, that, like the decks that we've been playing today. This looks like it needs to be a three of, because the, the landmarks, um, you know, and that's the thing. Like, this is like the first few days, you know, like, we're going to start adjusting, right? But the landmarks in this expansion look really powerful. The Freljord landmark... Um, that one was pretty good that like you know my opponent played with like that battle scars kind of deck that one's pretty good um but we saw the demacia one was just incredible that plus one plus one and challenger to everything i think that's actually the best landmark out of all of them and then there's of course the targon one that makes things cost zero which has the highest upside with with making things like feel the rush and a really insult cost zero and is just ridiculous but you know it also has like the downside of you know it doesn't really do anything on its own but um, has like a ton of potential, but the, uh, that Demacia landmark, that was, that was pretty sick. What the, what my opponent just did that last game. All right. So that's, but that's Victor Zoe. I was, I was really impressed with this deck though. Just in general. I think that this, the, I think that this looked really strong, you know, like I, both of our losses, you know, like we were three and oh there. And then both of those losses were like to those, those landmarks into some, you know, like the, the battle scars loss was, they just had an absolute perfect first five turns, like, like literal perfect first five turns. Um, and so, you know, like, and, and we ended up and, and we were, we were going to be fine, but then, you know, they had the pack mentality also said so the perfect first five turns and then pack mentality on seven kill me. And, uh, you know, like that happened. So like, okay, that, that loss, like, then, then that Demacia deck, they again had, I don't know, maybe, I guess maybe that was kind of perfect for the Demacia deck too, right? Because they had turn one Fleet Feather Tracker, turn two, save the two spell mana so they can get the plus two, plus two, and um, block an elusive card, right? So they bank that mana. Then then they have Misfortune, and um, and uh, then, then after Misfortune was the Landmark on four, and then whenever they had the attack token again on five, played Grizzled Ranger with that attack token, which is amazing. They don't have the attack token on Get a Cythria in play. 
yeah, that was also just incredible. So we, we ran into two really hot opponents that, that uh, had everything work out for them, um, curve-wise. And so you're going to lose some games like that. Like, that's just card games, right? Like, whenever people curve out perfectly in decks, they're, they're going to win. But the whole, the whole moral of the story, what I'm trying to say is, I think our deck felt really powerful, and I think that the augment stuff looked really good, and, and creating gems for the augment and everything looked really good. But our deck, of course, can still be tuned a little bit. You know, like we can have some more Aftershock, for example, and, and things like that. Like we could, like this deck can definitely be tuned. It's not a final product. But I have to say that it, it did look really impressive. And it only, it only took a couple of perfect curve outs to defeat us. But that's Victor Zoe. So fun deck to play there. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, um, hit that like button. Let me know, what do you want to see on the stream? Leave those comments. Um, you know, like, what have you been playing with the new expansion that's been working out that, that you've been having a lot of fun with? Um, what what kind of decks do you want me to build? What kind of champion pairings do you want to see? Um, anything like that. Give me those ideas. Um, yeah, I would love to see that. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work on that and get you some new stuff. But tomorrow, uh, which, of course, for, for y'all on YouTube will just be the next video. We're going to be playing some of those new landmarks and trying them out and uh, kind of keep on going from there. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep on playing new new decks every single day. That's what we do, and we have a lot of fun with it. All right, but that's it here for Victor Zoe. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.